I have fought against white domination. And I have fought against black domination. I have cherished the idea of a democratic and free society in which all persons will live together in harmony and with equal opportunities. It is an idea for which I hope to live for and to see realized. But my Lord, if it needs be, it is an idea for which I am prepared to die. Hey guys, this is Kamika introducing Dr. Jacquery Damages. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York. Uh, no, 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 New York. This is, uh, this is from Mandela's Mandela Bog. Land. Yeah, hey. Mandela's Bog. Yeah. Mandela, Mandela's Bog. Mandela's Bog. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> For this week. The greatest city in the world moved to South Africa. Yes. Mm -hmm. A little bit of our hearts is in South Africa where Mandela died yes. this week. Yeah, so sad. Yeah, yeah. sad. This is how President Jacob Zuma of South Africa announced the transition to the world. Watch. Our beloved Nelson Holisasa Mandela, the founding president of our democratic nation, has departed. Wow. Yes, so yes, sad. yes, yeah. It was fascinating watching world leaders falling over themselves, trying to outdo mm. each other as they pay tribute to Mandela. Mm. They went to the end of the dictionary to find never been used words to describe Mandela. What? Yeah. Mm. Presidents, first ladies, kings, queens, they changed their Facebook profile pictures uh -uh. to pictures of Nelson Mandela. Mm. Wow. Yeah. On their Twitter pages, they were posting pictures they took with Mandela. Here is Barack Obama with Nelson Mandela. Wow. wow yeah. Here is George Bush with Nelson Mandela. Okay. Wow. Yeah. George Bush? Yeah, the, the junior one. <laughs> here is President Bill Clinton with Nelson Mandela. Wow. Yeah. Now here is Michelle Obama with Nelson Mandela. Wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, now, here is uh, Dr. Damages with Nelson Mandela. <laughs> yes, yes. I, 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 I live too with Mandela. I lived in the same, the same century. Yes, yes. My people say that the day you mourn someone is the day you mourn yourself. Mm. Yeah. If you look at what people are saying about Mandela, you see a little bit of something about themselves in those things. Mm. Yeah. For example, President Obama said in his tribute that Mandela no longer belongs to us. He wow. belongs to the ages. He no longer belongs to us. He belongs to the ages. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can, you can be sure that when Obama's time comes, most Americans will say that Obama no longer belongs to us. Mm. He now belongs to Kenyans. Right. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Former President George W. Bush said this of Mandela. He said, he bore his burden with dignity and grace. Mm -hmm. And our world is better off because of his example. Wow. Wow. Impressive. Now, when George Bush's time comes, eh, the world will remember this clip of President Bush on September 11, uh, 2001, when he was told that terrorists attacked the World Trade Center. Watch. Stay on page 153. <laughs> <laughs> you, see, you see how Bush showed dignity and grace. And then he made the world better by attacking Iraq. <laughs> Now, our own president, Jonathan, good luck, Jonathan of Nigeria, yeah. He said that Mandela will be solely missed by all who cherish love, peace, and justice. Mm. I, I tell you, I tell you, when Jonathan's time comes, people will say this of Jonathan. They will say that Jonathan will be surely missed by Stella Odua, the Ziani Alison Madeke, and that Jamaican culture minister, you remember it? <laughs> <laughs> 
I was told that the APC leader, uh, uh, that Bola Tinubu, also issued a statement. Mm. I, I'm like, who is Bola Tinubu to issue a statement? Yeah. But anyway, in his statement, Tinubu said that Mandela inspired him when he fought for democracy. Mm. Yeah. Then he said, but uh, Mobutu Seseko inspired me when it was time to handle Lagos State cash. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Obama also said that we will not see the likes of Nelson Mandela again. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm like, why? 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 Was it because he went from being a prisoner to president? We have somebody like that. Obasanjo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why? why? Was it because he fought the brutal apartheid regime in South Africa? Ah, Robert Mugabe fought white minority rule in Zimbabwe. Yeah. Now, what about Museveni? He fought it there in Uganda. So wh why is it that we can't see someone like Mandela again? Why? Oh, you Africans, why, why, why? Anyway, it's all in one man. what would the world say when this Robert Mugabe and Museveni, when they die, what would the world say? Would they say this kind of thing they are saying about Mandela? Mm -hmm. You think? Mm -hmm. Now, now, what would the world say about you when you die? You, 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 you. <laughs> scratch that, scratch that. What will your acquaintances say? The world will not know you die. What will your acquaintances say? <laughs> Now, 100 years from now, it would be cool to say that we lived when Mandela lived. Yes. Yeah, yeah, very cool, you know. <laughs> but did you learn anything from, from him? Yeah. Yes. After you stand in the sun and pay your tribute to Mandela, what else? Would you go back to paying lip service to what Mandela stood for? Do you even know what Mandela stood for you? Yes. <laughs> now, the only lesson I learned in the last two days is that it's possible for an African to transcend the globe. Do you know what I figured out? What? Upon his death, Nelson Mandela became the first black pope since 496 AD. Huh? Yeah, you know, you, you don't get this in late night talk show. This is pure information. Anyway, talking about popes, our favorite pope, uh, Pope Francis. Hey. He has been under attack from left and right. Uh, oh. wow. This time, his offense was that he said that uncontrolled capitalism was destroying the world. Mm. Wow. I agree with the Pope on this one. But this retired drug addict, Rush Limbaugh, bounced on the Pope. This is what he said. Watch. I got to be very careful. I have been numerous times to the Vatican. It wouldn't exist without tons of money. But regardless, what this is, somebody has either written this for him or gotten to him. This is just pure Marxism coming out of the mouth of the Pope. There's no such unfettered capitalism that doesn't exist anywhere. Unfettered capitalism is a liberal socialist phrase to describe the United States. <laughs> I was so worried about Pope's security, you know, until I realized that the Pope used to be a bouncer at a nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not making it up. So the Pope used to be a bouncer. So the Pope can handle that, that riffraff. <laughs> in fact, in fact, we got a video of the Pope taking care of a ruffian like, like Rush Limbo. Watch. <laughs> now, now, Amazon, you know Amazon, that, um, for those of you who do not know, Amazon is the Ojalabam international market of the world. Mm -hmm. It's planning to deliver products to customers using a drone. What? Yeah, drone. I'm not making it up. You order something and it will be delivered within an hour what? in front of your doorstep. They, they did a test, a test run of the process the other day. They asked Olusegun Obasanjo to order anything he wanted anywhere in the world. Guess what he ordered? A box of Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> they, they asked Tinubu, Bola Tinubu to order something, anything. Guess what he ordered? What? Jamaican Igbo. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you all have been waiting for, eh? Yes. You want me to tell you where President Jonathan has been since Tuesday night? Yes. Mm. Yeah. On Tuesday night, he left Nigeria for a private visit to Germany. Wow. Oh. 
But I'm sorry, folks. I, I am not telling you any goddamn thing. I don't want to go to prison for seven years. <laughs> I'm sure you know that um, this, um, this, this APC senator from Ogun State, uh, Senator Kaka or Waka or yeah. what is it? W Waku? <laughs> Kuku? Senator Kuku? He has a bill making his way in the Senate that will jail all you Twitter lovers and social media types what? for what? writing anything that could cause security problem in Nigeria hey. or inciting the Nigerian, yeah, Nigerian people against their leaders. What? Yeah. So if I tell you now that the president is in the same German hospital where his wife, Patience, was brought back to life seven days after she died, mm. you all will fly to Germany to thank the Germans. Wow. Mm. By doing that, causing security problems for Nigeria. Uh. So you are not going to hear it from me <laughs> at all. All I know is that the president is on a private visit to Germany. If doctors open his stomach over there, the same way they opened the patient's stomach. You remember that mm -hmm. so in February this year, and, and then opened her tummy and intestine. Ugh. That is a private matter. Mm. Nobody needs to know what they sucked out of the president's stomach. Mm. Whether it's ginger or gin or gogoro, it's not your business. <laughs> <laughs> after all, after all, or bread or cassava bread, yes, yeah. <laughs> after all, after all, he did not travel there with your money. And as a doctor in good standing, I know that when patients come to visit me in private, they also pay with private money. Yes. We don't take checks. Allow no, 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 no mm. checks. Now, watch it though, watch it though, because when the president returns, you will see the sign that it is, he's a new man. Wow. G-E-J 2.0. <laughs> that, that's what you're going to see. Look out for the president to immediately announce on touching down in Abuja that he's firing the aviation minister, Stella Odua. Yeah, yeah. Prophet TV Joshua told me that it will be very, very exciting. Mm. Now, with the abdominal pain taken care of, and that lingering fear of dying in the villa, you know, that fear, you know the one I mean? Mm -hmm. The fear that anybody, any president that goes in there with the wife, mm -hmm. that one of them will not come out alive. Mm -hmm. With that fear taken care of, you know, President Jonathan is going to jumpstart his run for presidency in 2015. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. In honor of Nelson Mandela, President Jonathan has announced from his hospital bed in Germany that if nominated by the PDP, he won't run. What? If elected by the people of Nigeria, he won't serve. Mm. Hey. But, but he also said that if his people ask him, you know, if they beg him nicely, that, nicely, that he will not say no. <laughs> now, now, by his people, he means uh, Stella. Stella. <laughs> now, now, this president will end all the superstition about dying in Asorok. Mm. And, and he will not just leave Asor Asorok intact with his family. He will extend his time there to 2019. Mm. Just to show you that he can. So all you fake prophets, all you, TV Joshua, all of you, all of you, go and... How do they say that? Go and... Go and die? <laughs> no, no, no. Go and gnash your teeth. <laughs> I told you that I don't trust these APC people, the opposition party. Mm. One of them wants to put you in jail, while the other one wants you to go and die. Mm. Watch. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Governor Oshomole. Thank you, the people's governor, mm. for expanding our words we could use to describe people. We can now tell anybody to go and die. Now, by now, you know the story. The khaki-wearing comrade, who is also one of these governors that collect 100 million naira on security votes every month. Hey. But he won't change his clothes just to make you think he's poor. <laughs> now, now, he got angry with a widow eking out a living on the street of Bini City. Hmm. And he told the widow to go and die. Right. Now, now, be because he was caught on camera, and all you social media type, you put the heat on him mm -hmm. until it became too hot for him to handle. Mm. The governor's PR team quickly arranged a meeting with the woman uh -huh. to give the man an opportunity to apologize. <laughs> now, now here is the governor with the woman, with the widow. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they were drinking coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that the, the need for this PR picture to be shown to the world, but why must the woman wear the same clothes that she wore in that video? <laughs> why? <laughs> 
immediately after the picture was shown, New Wahala started. Hey. The governor's people now have to apologize for thinking that Nigerians are such mumu people that they cannot identify the go and die woman unless she's wearing the same clothes. Wow. Now, now, the governor also offered the woman employment and donated 2 million naira to her. Wow. 2 million naira, yeah. Now, out of habit, as the woman was leaving, <laughs> the governor said to the woman, Go and be kidnapped. <laughs> Talking about governors, we now have a new governor in Anambra State, Mr. Willie Obiano. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Congrats, my man. Ainek finally announced him as the winner of the election that happened two weeks ago. Nto Chris Ngige. Nto Ifan Yoba. Nto Tony Moya. Now, now, little is known about the governor elect. All we know about Willie Obiano is that he likes rice, beans, and. Um, and um, uh -huh. he, he likes rice, beans, and um, yeah. pop, 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 pop. No, 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 not that pop, pop, not that pop, 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 not that one. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait. Obiano, Obiano, please remind us what you like. Rice, beans, rice, beans, and uh, rice, beans, and uh, one more. Rice, beans, rice, beans, and. Uh, Rice, beans, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You got to give it to him, Willie. Eh? He fought gallantly in spite of all the odds against him, mm. eh? and he won the election. Yes. So, if not that I am from Anambra State, mm. I will have joined all of you who hate the gods of people of Anambra State. Mm. Anambra is to Nigeria what Texas is to America. <laughs> Do you doubt me? Now, listen to Texas Governor Rick Perry as he speak. Watch. It's three agencies of government when I get there that are gone. Commerce, education, and the, uh, uh, what's the third one there? Let's see. <laughs> you need five. Oh, five. Yeah, okay. So, five. commerce, education, and uh, the... Um, uh, uh. Now, now, listen to the governor of Anambra State, the governor-elect, Willie Obiano. Watch this. Rice, beans, rice, beans, and uh, rice, beans, and uh, one more. You, you can see. You see? The same thing. So... What is the situation with ASO Strike? Are they still on strike? No. Yeah. From where I am, eh, ASO Strike has exposed many unknown flaws in the nation called Nigeria. President Jonathan's attack dog, sorry, sorry, attack lion, uh, Don you know Kube, said the other day that Bola Tinubu was the one sponsoring ASO Strike. Mm. Can you believe that? Immediately, ASO people issued a statement titled To Fiakwa. <laughs> In the statement, Asu asked, how could we descend so low as to allow someone with a fake Chicago University degree to be our sponsor? And I agree with them. <laughs> I, I thought Asu was serious until I read in the same statement where they said that President Jonathan should be careful, else his advisors will lead him astray. Wow. Excuse me? How can you look at the president, a whole President Jonathan, and still doubt if he's not already astray? How? Watch. Some 60% of the people of Nigeria don't have enough or regular power, regular electricity. There are constantly shortages and outages. Three years later, what do you have to say about that? I would have loved that you ask an ordinary Nigerian on the streets of Lagos, Abuja, or any other city this question about power. That is one area that Nigerians are quite pleased with the government that are commitment to improve power is working. So if you are saying something different, I'm really surprised. That is one area. Now, I understand that finally, Ngozi Okonjiwala has found 200 billion naira for us. Didn't she say that there was no 90 billion at the beginning of this crisis? Yep. So where did she find the money? Eh? Where? So the federal government has deposited the money at the Central Bank of Nigeria. Yeah. Now, that, that makes me wonder, um, where, was the where was the money before? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. So the money is at the Central Bank of Nigeria. But why is Hassel still on strike? I don't get it. I understand that the government is going to fire all university lecturers in Nigeria tomorrow. Mm. 
no or, or next tomorrow no or, or next next tomorrow <laughs> somehow the people who run this government they they have an answer to this problem nothing is crazy to them i understand that they've concluded to have president jonathan move his office to Abuja University, where he will teach biology 101. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Wala will teach economics 101 at the University of Benin. <laughs> now, Pius Anyi, we know the one that it's. Uh, uh, we teach diet and nutrition 101 <laughs> at the University of Nigeria and Soka. <laughs> now, the plan was going well. Government officials were all coming out, offering to teach courses in these universities when they fired the lecturers. But then, came Senator Yerima Ahmed. Mm. Wow. He offered to teach early childhood education at girls' college, Ibado. And they were like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Bad, bad, bad idea. <laughs> Pop star turned pastor, Reverend Chris Okotie, launched an attack on Catholics the other day. Wow. Yeah. He yeah. said that all Catholics will go to hell. Yes. Imagine that. You know my cousin is a Catholic, and I don't want her to go to hell. So, how could you say that my cousin will go to hell, Chris? <laughs> eh? Who the hell are you, Chris? Mm -hmm. The man of God said that all Catholics are led by an anti-Christ Pope, who is a friend of the devil. <laughs> I'm not making this up. I am totally against anybody other than myself bashing church people. <laughs> eh? I knew that Chris totally lost his mind. When he said that Catholics eat bread and call it the body of Christ. <laughs> now, this is the same Chris Okotie who eats hamburger and calls it meat. <laughs> eh? The same Chris Okotie who organizes beauty pageant in his church and calls it Holy Communion. <laughs> now, here are some stories making headlines across Nigeria this week. Equerimado calls for extension of Jonathan's tenure. To 2017. Wow. Now, Ekwerimado is the deputy senate president. I believe that Stella Odua has the extension court. <laughs> uh, and that is the reason why she has to stay. Wow. <laughs> when presidents visit me, I get queried by God, says Prophet T.B. Joshua. <laughs> I know, I know. The first question that God asks him when God comes is, what is this T.B. in your name? Is it tuberculosis? <laughs> And whose prophet? Who, whose prophet are you? Uh, 288 billion naira spent on Abuja Airport Kabua roads. Mm. Yeah, says Bala Mohammed. 280 billion. Wow. Now, before you scream, eh, you have to know that the road goes from Abuja to Abidjan and then uh. down to Mandela Land. He <laughs> says a long. <laughs> Governor Fashola says Stella Odua's armored cars will buy 51 police patrol vehicles. What? Yeah, he should know. He has one of those armored cars. <laughs> <laughs> Nomadic politics. Migrant PDP governors now in APC to undergo blood transfusion. You know, they, they move from PDP to APC, so they need blood transfusion. And guess what? The attending physician is uh, St. Senator Dr. Governor Bolatinubu, he's going to perform the transmission. <laughs> you know, 21 trillion naira laundered out of Nigeria in 10 years, says EFCC. 21 trillion. Now, now, how I wish we have an agency charged with fighting economic crimes in Nigeria. How I wish we have just one agency that, that we have a name like EFCC, you know? Anyway, 700 million dollars a bachelor loot fully returned to nigeria says the swiss ambassador to nigeria wow. mm. uh, uh, this man this man uh, so listen 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 go back and check in your swiss account the money has returned back to switzerland why are you looking for it in nigeria <laughs> terrible <laughs> another baby factory discovered in Imo state wow. yes yes they are saying let the americans keep making drones we are sticking with our original product, babies. <laughs> Did you get that? Yep. <laughs> Jim Ike mobbed by fans in Sierra Leone. What? You know, yeah, that actor was mobbed by thousands of people. But what people don't know is that half of those fans were his former girlfriends who he refused to marry. <laughs> 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 it's time for your email.
So do we have emails today? <coughs> ah, ah. Are you alright? Yellow Excuse fever? Excuse me, doctor. No. No uniform today? Doctor, I'm morning. Morning who? Oh, Nelson Mandela. Morning who? Excuse me. Anyway. I forgot that it's your, it's your That's my uncle ancestor. Oh, That's my yeah, tata. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we have emails today. Yeah, we okay, do. Okay, let's hear the emails. Okay. Our first email is from Uche Ucho. He writes, Dear Dr. Damages, I have been enjoying your show since the time of the fuel subsidy shit when I watched the cassava bread thing from you. I am really enjoying this show a lot. You somehow look like good luck Jonathan when you dress like him. <laughs> your show needs to be in Nigeria for people to know what's up because most Nigerians don't know what they are seeing yet and don't think they will see what they don't know either. <laughs> if you big. have it live in Nigeria, me, I don't pity you, so you better stay in New York. <laughs> Going back to Nigeria, I only sleep with one eye open because of thieves and Boko Haram headache. Even at church, I sit close to the exit. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Good luck to you and your show. Thank you. Thank you, Uche. Thank you for writing. You know, the politicians, they don't want to hear it. But we are going to keep giving it to them and we're going to bring it to Nigeria. You coming to Nigeria with me? We are going to bring it to don't Nigeria. Think about it. <laughs> As Nelson Mandela said, when the water starts to boil, it is foolish to turn off the heat. Mm -hmm. Next. Our second email is from Uma Mahmoud. He writes, Hello, Dr. Damages. I don't know why you never say anything about the United States president or the world powers. I think it is time for you to start. But make sure you have a ticket and a visa to Hong Kong, like Edwin Snowden did. <laughs> Thank you, Uma, for, for writing. Listen, I, I talk about Obama all the time. When he stole my joke, I called him out. I'm a Nigerian. I don't fear this Kenyan in the White House. <laughs> now, as Nelson Mandela said, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel fear, but he who conquers the fear. fear. Yeah. Next. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Our third email is from Mustafa Ahmed in Katsina. He writes, Dear Dr. Damages, Every Sunday, I'm used to watching your show, but this week, I did not see a program. I hope all is okay. Oh, thank you, Mustafa. Thank you so <laughs> much. A lot of people are asking what happened to us last week. Yeah. Now, we took a day off. Break. Yeah, Thanksgiving break. Uh, as, as Nelson Mandela said, the flute player should also be able to wipe his nose. <laughs> that was Nelson Mandela. <laughs> we well. can give everything to him. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Our first email is from Sesen in Georgia. He writes, Hi, Dr. Damages. Could you believe that the Latvian Prime Minister, Vladis, is resigning in the wake of a deadly supermarket roof collapse in the neighborhood of the capital, Riga, last Thursday? Mm. This is the kind of democracy I would like to see happening in Nigeria. Just imagine corrupt officers who were alleged of corruption, example, Stella Odua, still sitting in office as the Minister of Aviation and galvanizing around amidst the corruption probe. May God help us with good leaders in Nigeria and in Africa as a whole. I hear your prayer, my man. Nelson Mandela said, it always seems impossible until it is done. Mm -hmm. He lived it too. So there is hope. There is yes. hope. Next. Our fifth email is from Abdul. He writes, Hi, Dr. Damages. Can you please add this gross incompetence of the Nigerian embassy in the U.S. to your next edition? Passport machine down for three weeks at the end of the season. Help us ask them what Nigerians in the U.S. who need to renew their passport before traveling to Nigeria for Xmas do. I have called the embassy several times, but no one is answering. Abdul, why are you surprised? And why are you calling the embassy? If I were you, I will leave them this message on the voicemail. It is from Nelson Mandela. He said, there can be no keener revelation of a society's soul than the way in which it treats its children. Mm -hmm. Next. Okay. Our sixth email is from TJ. He writes, Hi, doctor. How could you say New York is the greatest city in the world? How about dog? When you come to Nigeria, I will show you the greatest city. It's a secret. TJ, TJ, you got me there, you got me there. I guess you are happy now. Today, just for today, the greatest city in the world shifted to Mandela's Park. Yes. Yeah, in honor of Mandela. 
that's all the time we have for emails please keep sending your emails to dr damages at gmail.com and you can follow us on twitter at dr damages now here is my concern for today it's taken from the book of mandela chapter 4 verse 8 and he writes there is no passion to be found in playing small in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living until next week, I am Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So you are going to South Africa for Mandela. I have to go. Wow. You know, I'm it's sorry. so sad. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Liar. It's not funny. Liar, you're not going anywhere. <laughs>